OK, this animation will show you how to use SurveyMonkey to create an account and to create your first survey. First of all, you need to click on the Sign Up Now button in the top right hand corner of the page. And you need to sign up using your school email address. Now remember, that's the first letter of your first name, full stop, your surname, at shr.gdst.net. Use your school password as well and then click on submit. Everything else you can leave blank. Once you've created your account, you're then ready to create your first survey. There's a button that says new survey at the, near the top of the page and you need to click on that. You're going to create a survey from scratch, so click on next. The first thing you can do when you are designing your survey is change the colour scheme. Next to themes, you click on the drop down box, there's loads to choose from, choose the one that you want. You're also going to change the name of your survey by, click by clicking on edit title. And give your survey a sensible name. Best to include your name at this stage. Once you've updated your survey name, you can update the name of the first page and just simply call that page one. And then click on update again. Right, now we're ready to add some questions to your survey. So click on add question. There's a link at the top called types of questions and that gives you examples of all the different types of questions that you can use in SurveyMonkey. It's worth having a look at these to see what the possible outputs of your questions could be. So you could have these, simply have um, one answer vertical, one answer horizontal, one answer menu drop down. You choose the one that's most suitable for your question. Here's one where you can choose multiple answers. And if you want to just gather some text, for example, ask somebody's name, you need to use open-ended one line. So there's the example um, questions that you can use in SurveyMonkey. So the first question we're going to add is one um, a one-answer vertical type question. I'm going to ask what form you are in. So I put in my question in the first box. Then underneath, I can add my possible answers. There are only three choices. There can't be any others. And when I've finished entering my answer choices, I can click on Add, and that adds the question to the survey. The next question we're going to look at is um, some basic text, an open-ended question. I'm going to ask um, for somebody's name. So I'm going to choose open-ended, one line with prompt. There's my question. All I need to do then is to add that to the survey. And the final question type we're going to look at is um, whether there's a possibility of another answer apart from the ones that I give. So here's the question, what is your eye colour? And I'm going to give some possible answers, blue, brown and green. But I leave, need to leave the possibility that there might be another colour eye selection. So I click on other, click on add, and there's three questions of my survey done. When I finish doing all my questions, I can click on the back button and I can see my survey as it is at the moment with my three questions. So you need to go through and make sure you've added all the questions from your survey that you created last time. 